So in order to understand convection, we also need to know about density. So density refers to how close together the molecules are. Molecules are. So molecules you can think about are just like penguins. So what do penguins do when it's warm outside? So here, for this first example, when it's hot outside, when we have a hot temperature, those penguins have lots of energy. They want to move around. They want to jump. They want to go catch fish. They want to go sliding on the ice. So when it's hot outside, they have a whole lot of energy. However, when we have it cold outside, when there's a cold temperature, penguins don't quite do the same thing. Penguins instead, they don't have much energy. They need to save their energy so they can survive throughout the whole entire winter. So when it's cold outside, those penguins are much more dense. They all cluster all together, just like molecules. When it's cold, they cluster together. Whereas when it was hot and they have all this energy, then they're not dense. Then the molecules spread out. Now, importantly, when these molecules are all spread out, it means that there's very low pressure because their molecules are all spread around. As opposed to when it's cold out and all those molecules are together, they're all really tight, they're all really tense and close together, then we do indeed have an area of high pressure.